Welcome back, YouTubers. Today I'm going to try and do something that I haven't tried before. I've done um, gas discharge lamps with sodium metal and potassium metal, but I want to try today to do cesium metal. Now, cesium metal, I have a vial of it right here. It's this golden colored metal liquid at room temperature. This is the reactive, most reactive metal known to man. It's extremely electropositive and it instantly catches fire in air. So it's very difficult to handle it. What I have is a setup here. I've got some balloons filled with argon. I've got some tubes filled with argon right here. And I'm gonna to attempt to get some of this metal into one of these tubes and then evacuate out the air to make a cesium gas discharge tube. So in order to test everything, to make sure the tube has sufficient vacuum, I've got myself a small Tesla coil right here. So, um, and here's my other tube. This one is made of quartz. So I think that reacts with cesium. So this may not be successful. And this, this tube I've also filled up with, with argon gas. We're gonna get some cesium in the bottom. This one has a small filament, tungsten filament in the bottom of it. So uh, we have a collection of tubes that we're gonna try out. Once I open this vial, I pretty much got to dispose of all that cesium. Because there's going to be no way I can store it and reseal it. And I've got a flame here to seal my glass tubes shut once I have the vacuum. While I do this, it's going to be hard for me to video it. The Oxalina settling torch that you see in the back there by Victor, that one is to seal the quartz tube. The brown cylinder on the left is pressurized pure argon gas. Let's burn off some of the cesium. Here's some here. This is an unsuccessful one. It cracked at the top when I tried to seal the tube. This is kind of the configuration of the tubular one so that you can seal off one end and be able to get the uh, reactive metal in it as well. And um, the end that's sealed off is the end that's nearest to my hand. And the end that the vacuum tube goes over is the end that's near the funnel end, which I'm gonna break off. I just scored it with a diamond and I'm gonna break that part off. There it is. There you go. So I'm gonna put the vacuum hose on this part here. Here I have some stuff that is left over. I'm gonna throw it in this water. Okay, here's what the tubes look like, sealed off under vacuum containing cesium metal. Okay, this is ionization of the argon starter gas, which is at low pressure in the tube, along with the cesium. The cesium is going to heat up and evaporate. The cesium is now starting to evaporate and is forming the pinkish hue in the tube. This is cesium plasma. Let's continue. The metals evaporated and formed a film on the side of the tube, which is obscuring the cesium plasma, but you can just see it at the top there. It's a beautiful pink color. It's like a salmon pink. The Tesla coil has to have a fairly high voltage to get the cesium plasma to ionize, but once it gets going, it keeps on going. 
and it gets harder. The tube is quite hot. I can still hold it, but it's, it's hot. The heat has caused the cesium to evaporate in the low pressure in the tube and condense on the sides of the tube to form this kind of mirror. To get it to be brighter, I think I'm going to have to use a higher power continuous wave Tesla coil. Here are some still pictures that I captured. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to come back.